Well, good Tuesday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest and you are ready to face the day. Oh, I tell you, the first day coming back on after vacation uh, was long. Uh, but that day is behind me. And uh, we go on with the rest of the week from here, right? I was blessed to be able to, uh, to go back this week. Uh, to doing what I what I normally do, and that's go into facilities and people's homes and and sing for them. And I was singing in a place. Matter of fact, I was just putting my guitar away, and this um, little woman asked me. She said, "You probably have never heard this, but do you know the song God Sent an Angel'?" And I said, yes. And so I sang it. And when I was done, she said, my brother-in-law wrote that song. Well, I had sang it and I have sang it for years. And I knew who had originally recorded it. And, and some of his band members that aren't with, with him any longer and have started their own bands and whatever, they do it as well. Um probably one of the best renditions of the song is uh the isaacs with with john bowman uh, years ago doing it live but uh, i knew doyle lawson had recorded it originally but this woman had said my brother-in-law wrote that and so so i sang it and she cried and she praised the lord i went out to my vehicle and was getting ready to leave the facility where I was and I had asked her what the fellow's name was and she told me and so I looked it up and sure enough um, he and Doyle Lawson and another gentleman uh, Pete Goebel had written the song so I went back in and spoke with her a little bit and um, she had told me some things that that were kind of heartbreaking, but also told me of uh, redemption. And that basically is what the song talks about. God sent an angel. If you look at people in the Word of God, you will find that uh, there were there were people that you would think may well have it all have great victories that they have just been uh, partakers of. Elisha on Mount Carmel, when you, uh, when you read that story, um, <laughs> Elijah rather, when you read the story of Samson uh, and his battle against the Philistines and these men come through uh, the greatest uh, difficulties in their lives and, and, and victorious. And you would think, wow, they're probably on cloud nine. Well, it wasn't long, not very long at all, that they weren't on cloud nine at all. But um, they were having uh, uh, difficult times. Some people don't like to look at it that way. John the Baptist sent... The only two disciples that he had left, two followers that he had left, and he sent them to Jesus when he was in jail and was going to was going to lose his life for his proclamation uh, of uh, what God had intended for for Herod and not ha and had not attend, uh, intended for him. And I have to think to myself that. You know, Satan is then just as real then as he is today and, and how that he fights me and how he must fight you and how he must have fought John the Baptist. And, and he said, his disciples and said, you go to Jesus and you ask him, are you he or do we look for another? Well, Jesus said, there ain't no need to look for another. It's me. Sometimes we can be discouraged and sometimes we can be damned. But God can send the help that we need, even 
even angels came and ministered to Jesus uh, while he was in the garden and gave him strength. So hold on, whatever it is, God will help you through it, right? I was troubled in my mind and had reached my darkest time when my life and my spirit was low. I walked down on a span of a bridge made by man and looked down at the water so cold. I stood shivering there on the edge of despair, knowing well I was going. With the end drawing near, I had no mortal fear, for I had never known Him at all. And God sent an angel that only my eyes could see. He was dressed all in white and surrounded by light. Oh, thank God for the love shown to me. For the rest of my days, God will show me the way since His messenger entered my life. I'm a part of his plan for salvation of man as I walk in the circle of life. Never more will I doubt what my life's all about, and no more will I suffer despair I've got proof he's alive for he let me survive and I know he's made a home for me there and God He was dressed all in white and surrounded by light. Oh, thank God for the love shown to me. He was dressed all in white and surrounded by light. Oh, thank God for the love shown. for the love shown to me and to others as well. God, I pray that you would bless anyone today that is discouraged, maybe down and out. Lord, I pray to God that you will give them the help they have need of today. We love you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. See you Wednesday.